Today, we're going to be talking about the epic return of LEGO Bionicle in the year 2023 and comparing it to our fantastic memories of the original set from the year 2001. As a bonus, I'm also going to share with you two super rare Bionicles that I've been keeping in brand new sealed condition that you don't want to miss, so stick around to the end. Even though I was less than 10 years old when these came out, I still vividly remember the TV ads that showed these off. I was so hyped. These looked like the coolest toy ever. So I knew I had to get one and I chose to start with this blue fellow, Gali, because blue was my favourite colour. So let's get him out. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next cool toy review. The other cool things I liked about Gali was that he was only one of two Bionicle who had a dual handed action. And he also had a very unique mask, which was actually transparent, whereas none of the other masks were. The next Bionicle I got my hands on was Kopaka, and I thought he was the coolest Bionicle of them all. Kopaka features a very cool and unique mask with a cyborg eye, as well as a single-handed sword action, and the only Bionicle to have a shield, which I thought was super cool. The last Bionicle I owned as a kid was Tahu, and he was the main attraction. Tahu featured a single-handed chopping action with his ultra-cool flame sword. His vibrant orange and red colorway really made him stand out from the rest, and he had a super iconic mask which was the face of the Bionicle series. As for his other hand, I did never get whether it was supposed to be a hand or some kind of little gun turret, but I'd love to know what you think. These next three were the ones that my brother owned, so between us we did have the entire set of six. And this was his favourite at the time, Liwa. Liwa had a mask that really let you see through to his face. And it was quite a cool mask as well. He also featured a single-handed chopping action with this awesome giant woodcutting axe, as his theme was something to do with the forest, I believe, based on his colours. And his second hand, now again, I did often think this was probably a turret, given it was bigger than the last one on Tahu. But I remember on the canister, if you'll see here, he was actually using it to swing from vines, so maybe it is just a hand. Now the next Bionicle that my brother owned was this one, Pohatu. And I always felt like this was the worst Bionicle that they made, and I kind of laughed at him for getting this one. All right, here he is. Now, there's just, I don't know, there's something about him. I, I mean, for a start, his torso's on upside down and it just, and his, his head's on the front of where his crotch usually is. So he looks like he's got this terrible hunched posture. His arms are just, you know, really scrawny and he doesn't have a main weapon. So his main weapon is actually supposed to be this little boulder, which is included. And uh, I mean, I guess he is pretty unique. So his action is that you... He has a single-handed kicking action, and the idea is that he, he kicks his boulder, I guess, but um, never really never really did it for me and just sort of thought this guy was a joke. And last but certainly not least was Onua, or Onau. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but uh, I'll give it to him. This guy was pretty cool. He had a nice dark colour scheme. He was supposed to be like an underground digger, so he had this nice um, double-handed claw digging action. And uh, I remember in the ads, they'd show him digging through tunnels. And uh, that explains why under his mask, they'd given him these cool sort of green, like night vision eyes, which I thought was pretty nice as well. And just in terms of his posture, he is similar to Pohatu in that his head is mounted to the front, but it doesn't look anywhere near as bad because with this Pohatu, see how they've actually got it mounted differently and it gives him more of that sort of hunchback and it's it's also kind of loose his head so anyway big fan of this guy and not so much this one one other super cool feature that these original bionicles had was the ability to combine into a super bionicle so i have an original set of instructions here which we're going to take a look at this is for kopaka and if we skip ahead to the back you'll see and these are really here we go so look at this this is just a subset of the instructions of how to build this absolutely mega Bionicle. Look at that. Now if we have a look in the back of Tahu's manual, we should be able to find the second mega Bionicle. There he is. And let's have a look at this big boy. Look at that. Another absolute beast. There's a couple of quality things with these packages from back in the day that you just don't see these days anymore, including on the canister itself. 
I remember you used to be able to rotate this canister to see the other Bionicles that you needed to add to your collection. They just don't do this type of stuff anymore. And if we have a look at these included inserts, these things are a massive throwback. First up, we have this awesome mini Onua poster. And on the back, we have some promotional material for some other Lego Technic products, some of which weren't even for Bionicles, but really cool to see this again. And lastly, check this out. There used to be ways to get these different masks and there was basically a different color variant of all of them. And I never knew where to get these in Australia, at least. I was never able to get any of these color variants, but, um, and then, yeah, they had all of the story and the legend back here. So feel free to pause here if you want to look at that deeper. For anyone wondering where I got my hands on these, these aren't my originals from when I was a kid. I actually just had a massive wave of nostalgia a couple of years back and just grabbed this on eBay. And I was super happy to be able to find one that came with all the original canisters and all the original instructions, which I wouldn't have had at home anyway. So once my package arrived from eBay, I was so incredibly nostalgic and grateful to be able to build all these guys up again. Although I did save one, I actually didn't build Liwa and actually as a surprise went and dropped it off to my brother to give him the chance to build his old favorite, which he thoroughly enjoyed. So now it's time for us to move on and talk about the new Bionicle for 2023. But if you've been enjoying this content, guys, please do smash that like button to show your support. So think about all of the passion and nostalgia that I've shown for these old Bionicles from 2001. Let's make a comparison to this year. So this is the design for Tahu. And although we've only seen Tahu so far, there's a good chance we may see the doors open for other characters. So, where do you get your hands on the new LEGO Bionicle designs? Well, they are intended to be a purchase bonus at LEGO stores for spending over a certain amount. But with that being said, I have managed to track them down online, so I'm leaving a link for you in the description below if you want to get one. Let's talk about the design of the new Tahu. Why did they choose to use LEGO bricks instead of these Technic pieces like they used to? Well, it turns out they no longer have access to the molds they use to pour these OG plastic parts. And it's actually cheaper for Lego to destroy those molds than it is to hold on to them for such a long period of time. So if they wanted to make these Technic parts again, they'd have to make all of the molds from scratch, which I assume would have huge production costs and development costs as well. So it's going to be much easier for them to just use the pieces they've already got and maybe make a few new pieces such as for the mask, etc. I'm certainly aware of the bias I may have in my opinions based on my nostalgia with the original set, but in my opinion, you simply can't compare this new set to the old one. It's just not the same. There's something about the new one that just doesn't sit right with me, and I think it's probably the mask. If you have a look at this nicely molded, iconic old mask, and you compare that to the new one, which is just printed onto a piece, it just feels like a bit of a cop-out from LEGO. And I get it, they don't have the original molds, but come on, it would have probably been worth it to you know, reprint these or come up with something new. But what are your thoughts? Do you prefer the OG Tahu or this new one? While I may not be the biggest fan of the new Tahu design, I am still greatly positive and grateful for the situation at hand, because the fact that they're even working on new Bionicle stuff is a great sign, and based on the way the community handles it, it might just be the catalyst we need to start seeing more stuff like the originals. Smash that like button guys, because it is now time for the bonus. We're going to take a look at my rare sealed Bionicles. This first one that I'm going to show you, even I haven't had a proper look at in a good couple of years, but I know that it's a Bionicle from the second series, and it is the Liwa equivalent in this second series. So let's just open this outer wrapping, and I'll whip it out for you. So this is in brand new condition. Um, it is a little bit grubby in some spots, but this series, they could actually roll into a ball, and uh, when you pulled the trigger on their back, they had almost like a pecking action, and the masks can pop out and fit on the old Bionicles from behind this shield. So overall, a really cool series of Bionicle. And the final item in my sealed Bionicle collection is an original Tahu in sealed condition. Now you may be wondering why is it in this weird plastic and why is this weird plastic so dirty? Well, whoever I bought this off, so look at this, it came in a Bionicle three pack. So you used to be able to buy this as a set with Tahu and I think Liwa and one other. And anyway, 
they've basically cut this one out. It's never been removed from there. The canister stickers are still intact and I am saving this um, for my collection and I don't intend to remove it from this plastic, but maybe one day I will sell it, but I would love to keep it for as long as I can. I'm going to leave you with our toys playlist as well as another recommended video that you're not going to want to miss. But before you go, I've got an epic nostalgic toy review lined up from the same era as these 2001 Bionicles that I can't wait to share with you. So make sure you're subscribed because you do not want to miss this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.